Well, puppy's first day out in the on the trails and he's throwing up all over the place, so hopefully he gets used to that. Because it sucks. <laughs> Finally made it to some snow. Uh, see how far we can make it up today. It's a little, I can't tell if it's icy or slushy. I mean, it's raining, so I don't think it's ice. But just fresh a couple feet of snow over the last day. I wanted to come out before it uh, turns to crappy snow for the rest of the year. Just me and a gladiator out here, so. But first uh, snow trip, obviously, on the new 37s, the Mickey Thompsons. So far, they feel better than the Falcons. I don't know. We've been performing better than the Falcons overall. So I'm kind of glad I went with this choice. As you can see, no more smart cap. Uh, a lot of you have been asking why I got rid of the smart cap and why I got a GFC or some of you don't even know I have a GFC. But I made the switch back in May. I think I sold it in April, the smart cap. I got the GFC May 28th, brand new. Um, only had to wait two weeks for it, or two months. I guess it was almost 10 weeks. It was like nine weeks, so it was pretty fast. But yeah, this isn't gonna be a GFC review, but going over why I got rid of the RSI, because a lot of people are interested in those and they're hard to find. So it seems kind of weird to get rid of one. We'll just do what everyone wants to see in a video. Nobody's as ready that quick, but besides a blanket and pillows, it's ready. And I guess one of the main reasons, oh, that's windy. Yeah, one of the main reasons I got it was mainly to hang out in here, have room, because I'm six foot four. And yeah. This is definitely a sell point. Don't let people tell you otherwise. And yeah, the, the mattress sucks, I'll say that. But we got the one inch foam from Overland Soft Goods. Uh, I wasn't lucky enough to get their new bedding. It came out like right after I bought mine. Uh, but I'm still waiting on Hest. Hopefully Hest makes new ones, like actual replacement panels. Because other than that, it's like perfect, but bed kind of blows, but it's all right. It's good enough. All right, so, yeah, I got rid of the RSI. Um, I guess I was worried it wasn't going to hold up, jumping the truck and being just really rough on trails. It did. Did for what? year and a half, I guess, I had it for? Almost two years? The GFC Super Light was just too small for me, being 6'4". I would not get it if you're even six inches from that. Um, it was good. It worked. I just wanted way more room. I had a friend with a full GFC on a full-size truck and loved how much room he had in the bed area. Like, you know, sleeping, which I know the other side doesn't have that. But that was a plus to being able to sit in the back like I'm in here right now. It's raining, sleeting, snowing all in one right now and it's freezing and in here it's warm and we're dry. If we were camping today, I'd just hang out in here, but we're just out for a snow trip. It's one of the first big snows of the season. So I was gonna get a bigger tent I was gonna go with the GFC RTT, but with the added weight and stuff, I, I didn't think it was gonna do too well bouncing around because watching videos back, watching the super light bounce on the mounts on the top of the G or the RSI was, I don't know, I was worried something's gonna start coming loose and breaking. It actually, stuff came loose on the super light and I had to keep those tight, um, just like the mounting rails, but RSI was good. I had no issues with leaking. I know some people have. I'm with someone right now that had an RSI and it leaked and the doors didn't seem right. Um, mine was on one of the earlier runs. I got it in October of 2021. Yeah, 2021. 
Only thing I did is I broke the locks when they froze, and then I, when I sold it, one of the mounts broke, which they just sent all new clamps. And then the guy I sold it to, actually, rear hinge broke like a month later. So they sent us all new hinges, but they had an update. The new hinges are a lot better. Um, but mine was through freezing, hot, everything, or Pacific Northwest, so it's always wet. Held up well, completely waterproof, dustproof pretty much with that uh, positive air vent. Kept my bed clean. It is not as clean now with this thing, but the trade-offs are still worth it. But if you're looking for an RSI, I definitely say go for it. If you're looking at RSI between something like this, then you gotta weigh your options. But so far this has survived. Bunch of trips, nothing's come loose. I know some people have some issues stuff coming loose on the GFC. It's uh, It's been solid, jumped the truck a bunch. Yeah, just no sign of anything coming loose. So of course I have the newer billet mounts and stuff, so I think everything's a little stronger now. But overall, RSI is good. I did not get rid of it because I didn't like it. I just got rid of it because I outgrew it, I guess you could say. And I don't get rid of things very much and trade them out very much, so I should be keeping this a while and not be one of the guys that buy something new every six months. So I'm sure everyone's tired of seeing that. It's cleared up now, of course, after trying to film the RSI video. Styles, you like the, you like the snow? Struggle much?